morning. All right. You've got quite a few uh, items here to yes, talk about. Yes, I do. I'm Carmen Cantabo, and this is the Crafty Kitchen, which and Phil's going to join me today. And we are going to decorate some candles for in bulk because, you know, it's, it's just around the corner. Okay, so this is the sample that I made, okay? Uh, we've got the pentagram on one side, and then we've got the phases of the moon on the other side. And Phil, you don't have to do these if you want, but I'm going to have you pick a, uh, I almost said camera, pick a candle, and um, I'm going to have you decorate it. You can carve in. Sure. We've got a couple of things here. You can carve in the design that you want to design, that you want to put in. Um, of course, in bulk is kind of like um, the unofficial beginning of spring. Okay, uh, we're starting to think about uh, spring coming and planting and, and just the wonderful stuff like that. Uh, the beautiful flowers, so we've got our flowers on the candle here. Um, good colors for in bulk are white, pink, light green, yellow, and uh, red and brown. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really have, well, I guess I do have some red there. Um, so basically all you're going to do is just pick your candle up, and um, you can carve with either of these, whichever you like. And just uh, carve a couple of symbols on there that you like. And we're going to have a little bit of, um, you know, candle wax kind of carve, you know, on the table here, which is, you know, natural. And uh, I think I'm just going to carve the same kind of stuff that I did on that one there. And it's it's actually very easy. We'll actually put a supply list and everything on um, on the website. And so I'm going to take across. And sometimes the car the candles can be a little bit difficult to carve. It depends on the uh, the candle. I think. Judging by the way this is made, it might be soy candle, I mean soy wax, but I'm not positive. Um, I just liked the way it smelled. These are, this one's strawberry, that one is a lemon, and um, I don't know what this one is, but I love it. Um, and so then we're going to go across like this. So I've got um, a little star here, and now I'll just make my circle around it, like so. And... Now, what I ended up doing is I kind of just took my fingernail. If you have long fingernails, it's easy to do. Kind of get a little bit more of that wax out of there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then what you're going to do, now you can't see it very good right now, okay? So what you're going to do to make it really show up, what you want to do is you want to take some brown paint in keeping with the colors of in bulk, and I just shake it up as best as I can. This one is a really good uh, acrylic paint and um, I couldn't find candle dye so uh, the acrylic paint worked, worked out really nicely here. So just take off the lid and you don't even have to pour it out. Just grab your brush and then all you got to do is just take and go right over those lines that you carved. I have to keep dipping in there. This is a, like I said, this is a really good paint, uh, yeah, acrylic it looks, paint. It looks to me like we can just smear it on and then wipe off the excess and what you is might be able to. I haven't tried it like that because um, I've always just done it this way. But um, get a good quality acrylic craft paint. Go to your favorite craft store and uh, just pick up your your favorite brand. Um, don't get the cheap stuff because the cheap stuff won't work very well. You're going to have to put out, and it's not that expensive. Um, you could usually find it on sale, especially, um, you know, just keep checking the ads on, in your Sunday paper, and you should be able to find it on sale. So we're just going to go around here, and it won't take that long to just carve, car, not carve, we're done carving. Um, just kind of just uh, dip that in. And, you know, I probably should have put a little bit of water. Oh, well, hindsight, you know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you got any plans for uh, for in bulk? Me? Yeah. I always have plans for something. Do you? Yeah. I'm very busy. I'm trying to be very busy. <laughs> All righty. So that looks like you're just about done with yours. And I'm just about done with mine. It works really good when you uh, can actually get those little tiny particles of wax out and we can always go back in and, and uh, add to it as it dries it might you know it might need a little bit touching up and I need some touching up right there okay so I'm just gonna lay my brush down actually let's put the brush on the paper towel here okay so now you can see it a little bit better um, the next thing you're gonna do is we will go ahead um, awesome Yay! It's one of my favorite symbols. 
All righty. Show the camera the, what you what you put on there. This is a lenison or a um, figure eight infinity symbol. Right. But uh, it's a, a very magical one. symbol. Yes. Yes. That's a good one to have. So the next step that you're going to do, and this is this is pretty fun. Um, we're going to actually pick some flowers. And what I did with the flowers, I picked. Uh, I took some leaves, and I kind of just pulled the little stemmy things out of the leaves and I cut the leaves and you pick your flowers and you just pin them on. Um, I've got my little my little si uh, straight pin tomato, which are always fun. I used to love those things when I was doing sewing. I started sewing when I was like 11 years old. So, um, and then you just kind of pull your flowers off of the stems here and all you do now is- Are you pulling them off or are you cutting them? Those I'm cutting. The flowers can come off the stems fairly easy. And we've got some little tiny flowers here as well that you can, and you just decorate however you want to decorate. Um, you know, but uh, we're trying to keep with, with the color scheme and everything, with everything that we're using. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll get them all decorated and everything. But what I'm gonna do um, to finish up the project when we get ready to finish it is, um, sorry, excuse me. I've kind of got a little bit of a cold here, you know. Um, I picked up one of, whoa, I'm dropping my rocks. I'm losing my marbles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this here is called a charger, okay? Um, you can actually get them in several different colors. They're meant to hold your candles. Uh, so you basically, what, what we're gonna do with this is I'm gonna take my candle and stick it on the table here, and the other candles will actually, not the table, the plate, um, the other candles will actually go in here as well when we're all decorated, and then Another one of the wonderful things about in bulk is some of the things that you collect that remind you of the changing seasons and stuff. And we've got some seashells here. And we're just going to take some seashells. And we're going to pour some seashells around here. And then we are also going to take the rocks that I lost out of my head. <laughs> and we're going to kind of put those in there too, some wonderful little pebbles. Um, and just kind of just kind of jazz it up and decorate it. And the other candles will go in here. We'll have like a three a, a three pack of candles, so to speak. And we will set them in here. Probably something like this. That candle will go about here. And we'll just kind of just you know randomly toss in our shells and um, and our uh, our pebbles. And then all you do is you put it on your altar or you know a nice. Okay, maybe your centerpiece for your table for your in bulk uh, meals and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and you've got a beautiful little centerpiece. Now this will actually, in the next show, you'll actually see it on our altar behind the host chairs. So, oh, and, and ribbon. You can actually put some ribbon. We've got some beautiful ribbons here that I picked up. You know, and just keep checking your, your craft stores. You can actually pick up some wonderful stuff over at the thrift stores too. So if you head over to a thrift store, you know, you can find some wonderful plates that would work wonderful for this. Um, antique stores as well. Yes, antique stores, and who wouldn't like a beautiful antique uh, mm -hmm. plate or candle holder or something on their altar? It would be just so beautiful. Well, this is the Crafty Kitchen Witch. I'm Carmen Consalvo, and we will have the supply list on the website uh, in about a, within a week. And thank you for joining me today, Phil. Thank you, Carmen. And happy in bulk, everybody.